Well, the African American press is the next best thing to the church. Uh, if you have the African American press, you are communicating direct to uh, the community. Uh, it is basically the voice. Uh, we are lost without that type of, of publication. Uh, when it's something that we need to know, we're going to pick up the paper and we're going to read it. Uh, then we're also going to go to church and we're going to find the papers in the church that we will continue to read and support. It is so very important. Black people in the community are very, very dependent on black newspapers for their news. They trust black newspapers. Black newspapers go places that mainstream papers cannot go. We know that the black church is a main institution in the black community, and the black newspaper is also. But the black newspaper goes to the black church. Mainstream newspapers are not in the black church. Well, the African American newspaper bring the good news to our communities uh, in a way that uh, the morning news and others cannot do. But without the African American newspapers, uh, the black community would not have the history that they offer. It allows uh, the citizens to get a different perspective in, in uh, many instances. Plus, it allows for coverage within our communities that your daily papers don't cover for whatever reason. I think that non-African American publications look to African American press for the leadership and the guidance and the vision for what's happening in the African American community. That's where they take their cues. Uh, even when you have black reporters working for mainstream media, their articles are filtered because the editors at the larger papers edit out a lot of things, and so when you read it, it's not the same perspective. First here in Dallas, uh, African American Press has, has a long history, and uh, partnering with uh, Organizations like the NAACP, which I was a president of at one point in time, and then other organizations like the Urban League, and being able to get our message out to uh, our community and the larger community, that's extremely important. In my predominantly African American newspapers, they're just showing the blueprint of how to give po positive press back. They want to see me be highlighted in a positive light. They want to shine a light on something that's so positive. And nationally, I think that's what we all need to do for each other, period. When someone's doing something extra special and extra good, we should go the extra mile for everybody to know. I think that Spanish and language media plays a role in terms of providing content and disseminating and explaining uh, issues to that segment of the community that has traditionally relied on Spanish language uh, media. Uh, we play that role because the mainstream media, for the most part, may not expand or explore those issues at length. And I think that what we can do is to dissect and analyze issues that matters to those individuals in a way that no other media can do it. A lot more analytical, uh, a lot more investigative in some cases, and a lot more explanatory too. For a lot of Hispanics who actually don't read English or can't read English, they want to stay informed. And Aldeas is a great source for them to get information. I know I get it, you know, whenever I'm able to stop by 7-Eleven and, and pick it up and, and look over it. It, has, it always has a lot of information about events and, and cultural stuff, and that's pretty much what really grabs the Hispanic community, you know, that attention. Reminds, me, reminds them of home, and reminds them, you know, it gives them that, that good feeling of, you know, uh, of being part of something.
I honestly believe that every immigrant, you know, came here with, of course, different circumstances, but uh, at the end, with the goal that, you know what, take advantage of the opportunities that this amazing, wonderful country has to offer to every immigrant. Uh, as a Hispanic media, we have a strong responsibility. It is true, this is a business, but uh, at the same time, it becomes a strong responsibility because once you get involved, once you get to know the, the issues that affect our community, then you become responsible. And when you become responsible, you need to act, you need to do something.